What's up everybody, this is Yair and today we are going to draw Goku, Super Saiyan God. Okay, so just like always, I've got here an A4 size paper and a perfect square, each side is 4 centimeters, and I'm ready to go, so we'll start by drawing the shape of his face. Next I'm gonna draw the wrinkles between the eyes. We'll draw the eyebrow really high this time. And you can notice that in this stage his eyes look different. So we're gonna draw a nice curve here and then continue as usual. We'll draw his iris really close to the left side and draw the pupil right at the center. Add some cheek marks, the bump above the eye and I'm gonna do the same process for the left side. And as you can tell, I have some difficulties drawing the left side too. Awesome, so once we are done, I'm gonna draw the nose. And we'll add the mouth really close to the nose, just like always with a very tiny gap. Now as you can see, I gave him a nice smile, but later on, he really looks like Goku Black, so I had to change it and give him that normal, angry, badass look. But if you like it, you can just leave it like that. Okay, so next I'm gonna draw the ears. We'll add some details and of course you can use a ruler to keep the right proportions if you want. Once we are done with that, we can focus on the hair. So first I'm gonna draw his neck, and as you all know, in the god mode, he looks a bit skinnier than his normal form, so we're gonna draw the neck accordingly. And now we'll add four spikes on the right side. Then I'm gonna draw one spike on the left side and I'm gonna draw this guideline to help me keep the right proportions. We'll add three more spikes and then we can focus on the center. So I'm gonna add four spikes covering his eyes and ears a bit. And we'll add one more spike here. And quickly I'm gonna add more volume to the right side. Awesome, so I'm gonna get rid of all the unnecessary lines. And now we'll add a lot of random lines from side to side with the direction of the spike. And now you understand what I told you before about the Goku Black. Looks just like him, so I just thought I'll change it. 
awesome and I'm always gonna prefer the badass look okay so now we can focus on the torso so I'm gonna start by drawing the neck muscles and the trachea then I'm gonna add the traps and the shoulders I'm gonna indicate the shirt just like that Then I'm gonna draw the shirt underneath and we'll move to draw the arm. So first I'm gonna indicate the shape of the arm. Then I'm gonna refine it by drawing the bicep. And the tricep. And we'll do the same to the right side. As you can tell he's a bit skinnier than normal. But I also didn't want to draw him too skinny if you remember with the, the movie Battle of the Gods I kinda like how they drew him in Dragon Ball Super like the last episode awesome so now I'm gonna add the sleeves and the chest of course And I'm just gonna refine it by adding all the creases. Awesome, and all you have to do now is add is a G symbol. So I'm gonna add it right there, right next to the creases, because I want to get a nice effect. If you are wondering, I think it means wisdom or enlightenment, and it's pronounced go. I'm just reading the Dragon Ball Wiki. Awesome, so once you're done with the sketch, I'm gonna take the black pen and just ink this entire drawing. So I'm gonna use 0.05 for the body, you can also use 0.1, whatever you like. And for the face, I'm gonna use 0.03. Just because I want to be as accurate as I can and you'll get a much thinner line. Awesome, so once we are done, we are going to use the notorious Chuckwell Eraser. He's been notorious for a lot of time. No one knows why he's so notorious. He's not notorious like the notorious Conor McGregor. This song is very cringe. And then we're going to use the eraser stick for those stubborn, annoying areas. So now we can use the Copic markers. Those are alcohol based markers, which means they can blend very well. If you look at your top left of the screen, you can see the exact number of Copic markers I'll be using. First, I'm gonna start by coloring the gi. So I'm gonna use three different tones for that. And I'm just gonna fill this entire area with fast brush strokes with the direction of the creases. If you want to get a much uniform look, you can do it by working with circles of the brush. Once we are done, I'm gonna use a darker tone. It's gonna give it a nice shading. Next I'm gonna blend it using the brightest tone again. And finally the darkest color for the darkest areas.
then I'm gonna blend that using the mid-tone. And if you want, you can use the colorless blender as well. Awesome, so now we can color the shirt underneath. I'm gonna use two tones of blue for that. And we'll do the same process, of course, with blending at the end. And for this part, I'll recommend you to rotate the page. It's much more comfortable to color with the direction of your natural hand movement. And once we are done with that, I'm gonna use some grays for the symbol. And then I'm gonna blend it with the colorless blender. And that way we get a nice effect like it's printed on the shirt. Awesome, and now we are ready to color the skin. So I'm gonna start you by using E00. And I'm gonna leave a blank area just to get a nice highlight. Next I'm gonna use a flesh pink. and then the darkest color YR02 and just like before I'm gonna blend the colors and we we'll do the same for the shoulder, the tricep and the rest of the muscles And if you noticed, I used the colorless blender for the blank area just to soften the edges. Awesome, so once we are done we can focus on the face. So first I'm gonna start with the brightest color and again I'm gonna leave some blank areas and I'll leave them on the cheeks, on the bumps above the eye and on the bottom lip. Next I'm gonna use the mid-tone and I'm gonna mark the shaded areas and because the light will come from both sides because I'm gonna draw an awesome aura later so the center of his face will be darker. Next I'm gonna blend them with the brightest color and we'll use YRO2 again for the darkest areas.
some blending with the color blender and we can color the eyes so I'm gonna use two tones of red for that and I'm gonna leave a blank area right next to the pupil then I'll use a darker tone to create the shade from the eyebrow and we'll use the colorless blender to get more highlight so it's gonna soak the ink awesome and we'll do the same for the left side Okay, so now we can color the hair, so first I'm gonna color the eyebrows. And we'll add a nice shade beneath him. Awesome, so now we can focus on the spikes. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to color one spike of hair. I'm gonna use five tones for that. We'll start of course with the brightest one and gradually I'm gonna use a more saturated tone as you can tell the left side gets more light the right side will be darker And to finish up I'm gonna use the darkest tone R59 and of course blend it all gradually. Awesome, so I'm gonna do the same process for the rest of the spikes and once I'm done I'm gonna teach you how to draw the hour. Awesome, so now we can draw the aura. So I'm gonna use red, yellow and orange and I'm gonna use several tones for that. About 9 color pencils including the white color pencil. So I'm gonna start with canary yellow and I'm just gonna color around Goku and try to make it look like some tiny flames. Then with the same color I'm gonna draw some flames and as you can tell I'm gonna leave some blank spots.
Next I'm gonna take the orange tone and fill in the blank spaces. Now I'm gonna choose some areas that I want to remain completely blank and I'm gonna take a very bright yellow and just blend those areas. Next I'm gonna use lemon yellow, that's gonna be our mid-tone and I'll focus on the left side, I'm gonna go over the yellow parts And I'll do the same process with the canary yellow. Then I'm gonna use an orange with more saturated tone and go all over the orange parts. Okay, just add more layers. Now I'm gonna use a reddish tone and go all over the orange parts. And then I'm gonna blend them using the orange tone again. That way we get a nice smooth effect. Now to create a nice gradient I'm gonna use the color yellow again and mix those colors to get a nice harmony. So as you can tell what I'm doing is a process of adding more and more layers. Gradually I'm blending the colors to create a smooth transaction and I'm leaving some areas blank to get some highlights. And I'm gonna do that process again and again until I'm satisfied. So as you can tell by now I'm adding a much more darker tone of red. And then blending all over again with the orange tone. It's a work of layers, blending, adding more layers and blending again. And if you want to soften the edges, you can use the white color pencil for that. And as you can see, the results are great. So now I'm gonna do the same process to the right side. And then I'm gonna use the white color pen for those awesome highlights. Awesome, so to finish up, like I said before, I'm gonna use the white pen and I'm gonna draw some white dots around Goku, try to spread them equally, don't overdo it, but give it some nice volume. We are done everybody this is how you draw Goku Super Saiyan God I'm really really satisfied with this result I think the aura turned out great I love the shading I spend a lot of time on the blending and I think it really pops out so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial it was a step-by-step -step. we covered the sketching the inking and the coloring and of course the aura using the color pencils so if this tutorial was helpful for you, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Also let me know what would you like me to draw next. Of course, hit the like button to support my channel. 
that way I can make more tutorials for you. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, I upload new videos and tutorials every weekend. And I might upload another video tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, of course, keep being awesome, and you know I'm gonna see you on the next video. Peace.